All right, we're looking at negative exponents and trying to make sense of this. Um, I'm going to do three questions. I'm going to look at number three, number four, and number 15, I believe, the three that I'm going to look at. Um, I'm going to jump over to my document camera here quick. One way to think about an exponent, sorry, let me do that. There we go. Uh, one way to think about an exponent is if we have, like, let's say, uh, six to the third power. Six to the third power, uh, that exponent of three means we take the base and multiply it that many times. So six to the third power, six times six times six. Uh, six times six is 36. 36 times six, I'm not sure. So I'm going to do six times six times six, 216. Okay. So that's, that's the basic idea of an exponent. Using that same logic, six to the negative three, I guess would say that we're gonna do six times itself, negative three times. And that doesn't make sense. We can't use the same logic that we used here on a negative exponent, it falls apart. Without getting into the weeds of how this works or why this works or what's going on, I'm just gonna show you what to do and how we deal with a negative exponent. So this is not gonna be a great explanation of why we do this, but I'm gonna show you what we do. The way we can deal with this negative exponent is, I'm just gonna put an arrow here, is that we're gonna change this into a fraction. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, I've got a negative exponent. So I'm gonna write this as one over six to the third power. So when I do that, I'm making the exponent positive again. All this negative exponent is gonna do is it's gonna flip it into a fraction. It's not gonna make the answer negative. It's just going to flip it into a fraction. Now that we've done that, six to the third power with a positive exponent, that I can handle. Six times six times six is 216. So six to the negative third power is one over 216. That's what six to the negative third power is. It's a fraction. So the way you deal with any negative exponent, let's say it's, um, I don't know, six to the negative one power. A negative exponent is gonna flip it into a fraction, one over six to the one. And when I flip it into that fraction, I'm just gonna take whatever this exponent is except it's no longer going to be negative, it's going to be positive. Six to the one power means we just have a one six, I guess. One over six. So this is number two. And this is number three, I believe, in Odyssey where? Double check. Uh, oh, I was close. Number three is six to the one power, or negative one power. And four is six to the negative three power. So three and four, that's number three, that's number four, and that's how we deal with a negative exponent. Number 15 is asking us to do the same idea except backwards. It's one over eight to the six power as a fraction. And what they're asking us to do is to write that same expression using a negative exponent. So rather than getting rid of the negative exponent, like we were doing a minute ago, we're gonna put it back into a negative exponent. We're reversing the process. Okay, so we got eight, uh, one over, excuse me, one over eight to the sixth power. And if we work backwards here, whatever's in the denominator, whatever's in the bottom of that fraction, I can put that as a negative exponent. One over six to the third gives us the same as six to the negative three. These represent the same thing. So one over eight to the six, if I wanted to put that into a negative exponent, I'd write that as eight to the negative six. All that negative exponent is doing is flip-flopping where it sits in a fraction. That's all it's gonna do. So there you go, that's how you deal with those negative exponents. 
Uh, one other comment I'll make is that anything to the zero power is always one. Doesn't matter how big of a jumble of stuff. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up here. There we go. If it was that to the zero power, it equals one. To the zero power, one. There you go. Okay. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more examples of how the negative exponents work.